Good morning, it's Angie, and I'm coming to you from my nursery here at Little Dumplings Nursery on Tuesday morning. Um, it is a 10, 11 o'clock almost, and I'm playing with my camera settings again. So um, I've got it set to follow my face, which may not be the greatest thing, but I was hoping to try to give you a, a visual of baby Charles today that I have begun on auction this morning. So I'm hoping that this will work to show you some features of baby Charles. So I've decided to um, offer Charles as a um, auction on my Facebook page only. And um, baby Charles is, um, he is, I'm calling him a boo-boo baby. He's really not boo-boo in the sense of being detrimentally damaged or anything like that but um when i made baby charles and let me tilt my camera down just a little bit when i made baby charles i started out trying some new paints called ultimate fusion air dry paints which seems to be the big rage with a lot of people right now and um they advertise their paints as being paints that you do not have to prime the vinyl to paint and you paint on bare vinyl with these paints and so um, my experience with painting on bare vinyl in the past has been that sometimes you do run into issues with the paints not taking evenly to the vinyl and I did run into those problems with these paints on baby Charles so after I had done a few uh, layers and built started building a, a good um, base skin tone for a biracial or AA baby I, that was when I began to notice that on his cheek, on his left cheek here, um, let me hold him up to the camera again, on his left cheek I was having some issue with the paint not adhering evenly to his cheek. So I decided at that point to go ahead and stop using those paints, seal what I had done with some Reborn Effects um, Primer Sealer because I know it works very well and um, and then I finished painting him with Reborn Effects uh, paints and finished painting him also with, with the Pan Pastel powders which is what I always use now for shading on my AA babies and he's been sealed with the Reborn Effects products and he turned out very nicely. Um, the only thing is and I'm trying to hold him here at the camera where you can see is that where his face started being blotchy it's still right in there it's still a little uneven it is not as evenly toned as I would prefer it to be but then when you look at real babies real skin tones they're not evenly toned as what well either but being that I'm a perfectionist um, if you compare his that cheek to this cheek you see that this cheek is evenly toned except for you know there's some dark shading on it but it it's not blotchy there we go the camera's pulling in it is not blotchy or as blotchy you can see the a little bit of modeling technique there but it's not as blotchy so when I turn him back around you can see um and just bear with me this camera's trying to find me there we go so as you see when I pull him in there is more blotchiness there. It's not a huge difference, but it is enough that um, because, like I said, I'm the kind of person that I really uh, am very adamant about wanting to disclose everything about my babies I sell, and I am a perfectionist. I don't send out a baby that is considered less than perfect by me without stating so. So that that being the case, um, that is why I decided to go ahead and sell baby Charles as a booby baby. So now I'll tell you some more things about him, and I'm going to try tilting my camera down. I'm not sure with this face following thing if this is going to work or not. We'll see. There he is. Okay. So um, baby Charles, like I said, is painted with the air dry paints. His hair is painted and sealed with an, a satin air dry sealer to give it some sheen, which right now the lights in the room are bouncing off of it, giving it a lot of sheen. Um, and then his body is sealed with matte sealer, uh, not his body, his arms and legs. And so now I'm going to undress him so that you can see his overall coloring. This baby really turned out sweet. I never sell an AA or biracial baby 
for this low of a price. I had marked him down significantly, and, and he's just been here for a while. And I think sales have been slow because people have been getting ready for school and whatnot. Um, the expenses involved with that and with the fall time of year, football season and all. So anyway, I just want to go ahead and find him home. So I'm going to take his clothes off so that you can see underneath here. I have a onesie on him and you can see his coloring better. Now he may not be showing up in the camera right now. Just bear with me. As I get him undressed. And he's a really chunky little baby. He's um, a bountiful baby, real born from the Charles kit. Um, and... As you know, that kit starts off as a Caucasian baby kit. So every bit of coloring and shading you see on this baby was done by me. So there we go. Now you can see. So he has beautiful, rich coloring and shading. He has very um, nice skin tone, actually. Somebody is going to get an absolute steal on this baby. So there you see, baby Charles is, is just a precious little boy. I'm going to try to bring his feet up where you can see them in the camera. And I would, I would um, classify his coloring as a warm chocolate brown. It's very hard to photograph and video AA skin tones. They tend to come out looking a little more orange in pictures and videos than they are in person. And I don't know exactly what you're seeing on your camera, but um, he has um, hand rooted um, mohair lashes. If I tilt him that way, you can kind of see some of that blotchiness under his cheek there as well. It looks more shaded is what it, it, it kind of. So it's not a huge difference. But like I said, it's enough that I wanted to, to state so. But he is really a sweet baby. Just a real sweet baby. So on the auction, the way the auction works for baby Charles. The auction started this morning at 10 o'clock. You go to my Facebook page. And let me see if I can pull that up on the camera here. We'll try. Um, let's see. Okay, now you should be seeing my Facebook page. So if you go to Little Dumplings Nursery on Facebook, and I have pinned this to the top of the page, and it says Little Dumplings Nursery Reborn Dolls, and then I've got right here an ad that says Reborn Boo Boo Baby Charles, auction here, read and bid below. Um, and if you are reading this, um, let me pull it down a little bit. So... Under see more, there's where I have the description, and under that it says auction is beginning now, Friday, October the 5th at 10 o'clock. Auction will end at midnight, 12 a.m. on Monday. That's Eastern Standard Time on Monday, October the 8th. The starting bid is only $150 to bid to open. In order to bid, you must increase the bid by $10 increments. So if somebody has bid up to 160 and you want to bid, then the next bid would be at least 170 or more if you want to go more. Um, the winner of the auction will be expected to pay an additional cost of $30 to cover the shipping and insurance fee. If you win the auction, you are expected to pay immediately within 24 hours of the auction's end. Failure to pay will result in your name being posted here as a non-paying bidder and you will be banned and blocked from this page. So do not bid if you do not intend to pay. You must be 18 years of age or older to bid. If you are a teenager or you're under 18 and you are interested in this baby, you need to get your parent to bid on their account. They will be responsible for paying. And if it is not paid, it will be their name that will be blocked. So don't go in under your parent's account and, and do this because you could get in some trouble. And it will also be reported to Facebook. 
Um, and then the only other thing I would say is in regards to payment, um, I normally take PayPal as a form of payment. If you do not have PayPal, um, I can take a Walmart to Walmart payment. I have a Walmart very close to me. And if you're interested in doing it that way, you would need to set that up so that I could pick it up um, by Tuesday. So the auction ends on Monday. I would need to pick that up from Walmart on Tuesday. Um, and then right down below here is the link to all the pictures where you can click here on this link and it'll take you to all the pictures of baby Charles. So um, that is pretty much everything I think you need to know about the auction. Um, I guess I should go back and see if I've got any questions now. Hey Patricia, nice to see you. Hey Mandy, glad to see you. Um, it's, I'm, I'm using a new software here that shows uh, things in terms, I'm on a delayed time, so it's kind of hard for me to keep switching back and forth between the screen. I'm not sure exactly what um, you guys are seeing and what you're not until after it happens and then I look and I, it's a little different. But anyway, um, so that's everything I wanted to say about this baby. Thank you ladies for joining me. This will be posted on my Facebook page. Um, page here in a minute once I shut it down um, and it will not be live so anyone that wants to make comments or ask questions you can ask questions but it won't be alive so um, I will answer your question as soon as I see it y'all have a great day and um, tilt the camera back up y'all um, there we go. Y'all have a great day um, and happy bidding to everyone. Somebody's going to really get a nice baby out of baby Charles. This is the last Bountiful Baby Realborn kit that I had in stock. Um, in fact, I have no Bountiful Baby kits in stock now. And um, I'm going to be focusing from the remainder of this year on reborning my nice limited edition kits that I'm going to be running on a Christmas special. And I'm going to do a different live video here in a little bit about that and post that separately. I'll talk to you guys later.